Many students dread when they see IELTS listening multiple choice questions and indeed it's one of the toughest questions in IELTS listening exam. So far I have achieved band score 9 twice in my IELTS listening and now I'm gonna share my top techniques to solve IELTS listening multiple choice questions. Let's get started. In the first place, you have to allocate more time to read and underline keywords in IELTS listening multiple choice questions. Because listening multiple choice questions contain more words, more sentences than any other type of listening questions. Just imagine, one multiple choice question usually contains one question, which is a long sentence, and then there are three options, A, B, and C options. And these options are usually word phrases or full sentences. So this means that in order to answer only one multiple choice question, you have to read four lines. And these four lines can be sometimes four sentences, which is really time consuming to read. And in comparison, whenever you answer gap filling questions, you have to read only one sentence in order to understand what the question is asking you to write about. That's why it's important to allow yourself more time to read and to underline keywords in IELTS listening multiple choice questions. In order to do this, you have to take advantage of the pauses which are given during the listening test. For example, let's say you are given a multiple choice questions in section 2 and at the end of section 1, you're usually given 30 seconds to check your answers to section 1. And if you are quite sure of your answers to section 1, instead of checking your answers, you have to immediately move on to the next section and start reading multiple choice questions. Besides that, you are again given 30 seconds at the beginning of section 2. So overall, you have one minute to read and to underline keywords in multiple choice questions. So this one minute will be really helpful for you to be better prepared for IELTS listening multiple choice questions. Tip number two, carefully analyze all the keywords given in the IELTS listening multiple choice questions. Unless you carefully analyze them and you understand what exactly the question is asking you to find about in the audio, all the given options will seem correct to you during the audio. Now, as an example, let's analyze a few IELTS listening multiple choice questions and together we'll discuss the keywords in the questions. Look at the following question. What does Ruth think is surprising about the difference in all children's academic performance? In this question, keywords are Ruth, think, surprising. So you need to find what Ruth finds surprising about the difference in all children's academic performance. Pay attention. If in the audio Ruth gives some piece of information about all children's academic performance, but he says he's not surprised by them, in this case, these options cannot be considered as correct ones because keyword here is surprising. We need to find what surprises him about the difference in all children's academic performance. Now look at the options. Option A. It's mainly thanks to their roles as teachers for their younger siblings. Keywords in this option are mainly thanks to their roles as teachers for younger brothers and sisters. Mainly is one of the most important keywords and their academic performance should be mainly to a great extent because of their roles as teachers for younger brothers or sisters. Option B. The advantages they have only lead to a slightly higher level of achievement. Keywords in this option are the advantages they have and a slightly higher level of achievement. So their achievement should lead to only a slightly higher level of achievement, not a greatly higher level of achievement or extremely higher level of achievement. Slightly is an important keyword. Option C, the extra parental attention they receive at a young age makes little difference. Keywords are extra parental attention and makes little difference. So their extra parental attention, which they received when they were young, shouldn't make a big difference in their academic performance. 
So this parental attention should not play a big role in their future academic performance. As you see, there are some important keywords in each option and you need to highlight them as the most important ones. For example, mainly thanks to in option A, slightly higher level of achievement in option B, and makes little difference in option C. My next tip is about options. Usually at least two, sometimes all of the options, three options will be paraphrased in the audio. And while you are listening to the audio, you have to learn to differentiate options from each other. In order to do this, I suggest using true false not given techniques as in IELTS reading passages. For example, if one option is being paraphrased in the audio without changing its original meaning, it's highly likely that this option will be the correct one and you need to take it as a true option. And if some options are paraphrased in the audio but the original meaning is changed to the opposite one, it's probably an incorrect answer and take this option as a false one. And sometimes some options will be paraphrased in the audio but it will not be the same as in the question. Like in not given questions in IELTS reading passages. There is a similar piece of information in the audio but it's not the same as in the option. In this case, this option will be ticked as not given. So in the end, you will choose which answer you ticked as the true one. My next tip is about linking words. When you hear words like but and however in the audio, be very careful because these words mean that the speaker is contradicting the previous piece of information and probably giving a new piece of information and this information may turn out to be the correct one. That's why do not choose the first answer, first option which you hear in the audio. Listen further more carefully until you make sure that this is the correct answer or sometimes the speaker may change his or her opinion later in the audio. Last but not least, Vocabulary plays a decisive role in solving IELTS listening multiple choice questions because usually a wide range of words and phrases will be used to paraphrase questions and options in the audio. Unless you understand the meaning, the exact meaning of questions and options and the audio, the tips mentioned in this video and any other tip which you found on the internet or which was taught to you by your teachers will not help you. That's why vocabulary is the key. You need to constantly work on your vocabulary level. You need to always learn new words to improve your English. And in this case, you will succeed in solving IELTS listening multiple choice questions. Thank you very much for watching the video. We've come to the end of it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and share the video with people who are studying for the IELTS exam. Also, tell me in the comments what all the tips you would like to learn from me. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you in my future videos.